Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Firebird. I'm your host, Cerber, and let's get started. So, in the last episode, I had mentioned that um, when Pikachu evolves into Raichu, that his speed goes down, and that was dumb, because it doesn't. His speed goes up, but it doesn't go up significantly enough. And I decided instead of skipping trainer fights, I'm just going to um, talk over them. If I have to skip them, then I will. And the first one, you'll notice I didn't get into a battle with them. But uh, that's because I did it off screen. And then after the battle, I was like, well, maybe I should show this stuff. Because I'm probably going to have some things to talk about. And I mean, I do have some few things to talk about. So I guess it doesn't matter either way that I'm showing it or not. But I just wanted to bring that up about Raichu. It was completely untrue, and I don't know why I said that at all. But I did, and I'm sorry. I mean, it doesn't really matter much now, but like, when it evolves, it only gets um, a 10 stat increase. Like, Pikachu's speed is already 90, Raichu's speed is 100. So it goes up, but it doesn't go up as significantly. And it doesn't go down either. That doesn't even make sense. I don't, I don't know why I implied that at all or why I said it, but I did. And I'm sorry because it was false information. So I might end up evolving Raichu anyways. I mean, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I kind of want to because I really, really like Raichu. Raichu is one of my favorites. But I also like Pikachu too, so I'm not entirely sure. And, um... Yeah, so I'm I'm not sure. I mean, anyone's input would be great if I should evolve Pikachu or not. I don't have a thunderstorm right now, I don't believe. But it would be great to hear your opinions on that. So we just uh, took down that guy's Machop and now Onyx is coming out. Um, yeah, let's go with War Turtle. War Turtle is the best option for this because he's a ground type. I thought about using Mankey, but not really. Um, because I mean, Mankey is a fighting type, and fighting types cut through back and stuff, but yeah, I'll just take the easy route and go with War Turtle. Uh, so another thing lately that's been kind of bothering me is, um, which is like bothering me, but. I finished up my classes last week for the spring, and I think I've done pretty well, but only two of my grades are showing up out of the three classes that I took this semester, and one of the classes has not shown up, and I know that I did well, but I would kind of like a letter attached to it instead of it just being blank, I and mean, I don't know what's really going on with that if I should try and talk to the professor about it, or if I should try to talk to the registrar, or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I hope that you guys are doing okay so far, and that you've been doing well, and that you continue to do well, and that things are going good for you guys. Because things are going pretty well for me. Uh, I've been playing a lot of games recently and um, I actually have a project that I'm going to be working on which I mentioned in one of the other videos. I'm making a Kigurumi for someone which I'm, I'm very excited about. But I think it I, um, I think it will be very enjoyable because I mean when I made mine it was certainly a learning experience and now that someone likes my work enough that they want me to make one for them just make me just ugh. it just makes me so much so happy so much joy just a lot of comfort and it made me feel a lot better too because when I was wearing my costume um I wore it to PAX East on Saturday when I first put my costume on in the morning and I left to, um, left to the convention center with my dad, all these people kept staring at us and it looked like they were trying to hold back laughs and we walked by these like bellhop men 
they were older men. They weren't kids, but a job is a job, man. I can't complain. When we walked by them, I heard them snicker. And I looked back at them, and they immediately looked where they were going instead of looking at us. So I knew they must have thought it was funny or ridiculous or whatever. And it made me kind of sad because it was just like, you know, I spent all this time on this project, and they were just going to make fun of me. And I was like, that's not cool. Like, you shouldn't do that to people. I mean, what if you told me... I, I mean, like, what if I had done a similar thing to them? Like... Oh, well, you're a grown man, and you have the job that a 20-something would be doing, or a, or a um, fresh high school graduate or something. Like, what if I had said that? You know, that wouldn't be very nice. So, I don't know. I kind of... I mean, I know I don't always exercise this, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen it in some of my videos or heard it, but... I mean, I feel like you should always try to be nice to people, because... You know, just because um, you might not um, appreciate the same things that they do, you should be respectful. And just the fact that, you know, we, we were paying to stay at this hotel. You know, just, just try to be nice and try to be respectful of people and stuff. Like, if that's their hobby, don't let them afford it. That's not very nice, you know? I mean, I'm not your comedy show. Like, what is this? This is real life, man. Just, be, just treat people the way that you would like to be treated and be polite to them and stuff. That's all I really got to say about it. Sorry if that was too much of a rant and rave. Um, but back to the, uh, back to the school topic. So I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting for this grade to come in and it'd be really nice to know what it is because it's just taking so long and I need to know if I need to take the course over again or not. I'm pretty sure that I don't because I said, I believe I said before that I, I'm pretty sure that I did well, but it would just nice, to, it would be nice to have a letter attached to it. So I can also know what my GPA is because right now my GPA stands at like a 2.8 or something and that's not true. It's not. <laughs> um, oh, the, the other thing that I was going to add was I start taking classes next week and after I take that course I only have to take one course in the fall and then I should be done. I can graduate and I'll have my degree and it will be cool. Still have no idea what I'm going to do with that. But I mean, we're all kind of in the same boat when it comes to stuff like that, right? Sorry if you can hear like a tapping or a breeze blowing or anything like that. I have my fan going. It's pretty hot here. I mean, I'm sure it's not hot like in a lot of places, a lot of uh, southern states and stuff, but it's pretty hot here. Or it was pretty hot today for Ohio standard. Um, uh, there was something else I was going to get. Well, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone else has been in a position like that where they've done something and they're like, okay, now what? And they're not really sure where to go from there. And I feel like that's kind of the state that I'm in right now is I'm going to get my degree, but I'm not sure what I'm really going to do with it. And, you know, everyone keeps telling me, oh, well, you'll just get a job and you'll work. Well, yeah, I know that. I know that I'll be working and I'll have a job, but I mean, what do I do? I mean, I'm a computer science major with a minor in mathematics. I mean, what am I going to do with that? Am I going to... If I, am I gonna code? Am I gonna be a programmer? Am I gonna be a teacher? Like, what am I gonna do? You know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So it's just a little... It just makes me a little nervous to think about it. But, I mean, I'm sure it will all work out in the end. And who knows, maybe I won't even do something like that. Maybe I'll be... I'll be doing something else. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do... Um... Maybe I'll make costumes, I have no idea what I'll do. 
I'll be a, a substitute, uh, maybe, not a substitute, maybe I'll be like a teacher's assistant. I don't know. <laughs> Do something, you know, to make money and be able to get by and to live and uh, do the things that I want to do and everything. So yeah, what are we doing here now? Oh, yeah, then I'm not <laughs> paying attention because I'm mostly just talking. Why didn't that kill it? Come on. Confusion. I don't care, just go away. Just take this pack and go away. Go away, Venomoth. Go away. Can I evolve into Venomoth? Venomoth? Venomoth! I think that's it. Ah. <sighs> uh. Uh. Let's fight this guy, I guess. I'm not getting the wrong time to go to Lavender. Oh my god, what a coincidence. Me too. It's the only way to get a Lavender down Lavender Town right now is to take the rock tunnel. Yeah. How did you know? Oh my god, no way. Well no, it's because there's a um if you try to take the other route, I think it's I think it's eleven. If you try to take the route 11 out, there's a Snorlax in the way. And even though you don't know this until later, but there's also a Snorlax in Celadon too. But I think they're the same. I'm pretty sure if you, if you beat one, you beat the other, but I'm not entirely sure. But now we have to go to the... We have to get going to the infamous Lavender Town, which supposedly has the rumors surrounding it that it's in the original games, the music caused children to have headaches and just bad stuff happened and that they supposedly changed it in America, but if you compare the two songs, they're um, they're kind of the same, except I believe the American version or the Western version is in a different key, I think. Um, but yeah, they ended up changing it to be sure. I mean, there's been stuff following that before, too. Like, in episodes of Pokemon, there's certain ones that are banned or were cancelled because of things like... Um... There's one with Polygon that was... Porygon. Oh my god. Polygon? Really? Really me? Really? Porygon that, um were cancelled because there was a lot of flashing lights when Porygon was up in space and it caused kids to have seizures and go crazy because they were like quickly flashing lights which can cause seizures so they ended up cancelling that and then there was another one with um it was like a tsunami or an earthquake and that one was cancelled because of recent real life events that had happened with a tsunami or a devastating earthquake, something like that. And then after that, there was uh, there's another one that was canceled, like one where like James has boobs. That one was canceled too. Um, over in the Western version, I believe. So I um I believe at this point um. No. No, I'm gonna heal instead. Never mind. Sorry. Um. But yeah, I also put Mankey out in the front because he hasn't, or she hasn't really been gaining levels recently. Whereas Feral has, being out in front. Oh, um. I was going to ask if you guys are playing any good games recently or anything interesting. I've been, um, I actually started up playing The Last of Us, which, um, is pretty good. Like, the game itself is fun and the story's kind of sad, and I think it's pretty good, but I suck at it. I just suck at it. I'm very bad. I can't aim with crap. 
which kind of makes me sad. Because I'm... I can play Left 4 Dead pretty well, but... I can't play this pretty well, and I'm not sure why. Maybe I just suck, I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh my god. But yeah, I think that's pretty fun, and the story's touching and everything. And... Yeah. So I think at this point, I'm going to cut away until I get over to Rock Tunnel. So I will see you in a minute or two. Okay, now that I'm back, um, I'm not entirely sure why I cut away. I only had two more trainer fights. Then I made it over here to the Pokemon Center in front of the Rock Tunnel. So just gonna heal up really quick because I did take some damage. And remember, um, oh yeah, I didn't mention this. Why didn't I think of it? I also have a Drowsy that has Flash that I want to teach it to Pikachu. Alright. So, uh, the path over here that I'm showing, um, you can take that over to the power plant. And there's a certain Pokemon over there that you might want to get. But I think I'm going to end things off here. So thanks for watching, I hope you watch more of my videos in the future, thanks for stopping by.